have to tell the people that it's going to be eight years till we're back to Earth. If I tell the passengers that we are stuck up here and the food is running out, I'm going to become the next all-you-can-eat buffet. Warning. Warning. Hello, Avenue 5. This is Mission Control. Is everything okay? Yeah. Sorry, we're heading into the sun. The big yellow cancer factory made out of lava, that one. Burn or starve? Well, it's nice to have options. You know, I think I preferred it when it was chicken or fish. The twilight of the moron tyrant is upon us! Oh. <laughs> I'm just a happy bride. I say we sit here and wait for death. Pray for death. Some combination of sitting and death. Sorry, I'm just internalizing a lot of panic and fear right now. But now I've done that, and okay. I'm back in the room. Good. Hi, Jeff. Well, hello. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. Hey, Zach. Jeff in Las Vegas. Good morning or afternoon. Good to see you. You look, this is a very cool. Oh, well, effect. thank you. I, I love this show, you guys. It seems like it's been a minute since I've seen it, you know, so I know the COVID put a, a damper on everything, but I'm glad it's back because it's the weirdest, funniest, strangest show I've ever seen, and I love it. And, uh, you know, last time, Lona, we left Avenue 5, they had a eight-year journey to Earth. Now we learn that food is running out and the ship is heading towards the sun. Uh, it sounds like we're ready for a wild ride this season. Yep. <laughs> what could go wrong? I think, I think, I think we are. And that, those are just some of the things, I mean, there's even more that goes wrong. So I think that's like episode one, <laughs> season two. <laughs> and Zach, how does Matt handle the growing panic aboard the ship? um i think it, with his sort of typical ineptitude but he also i get starts to get angry at ryan which i thought was kind of interesting i think that's an experience that a lot of people have had over the past few years of like people who don't think of themselves as being angry getting angry um i was walking my dog and there was this very kind of sweet motherly woman who started talking to me about I don't know, the pandemic and politics and everything. And she had, she had her dog and she was just dressed like kind of a suburban mom and seemed very, you know, I don't know, just like emotionally mature and sweet. And then this kind of weird fury started to creep into her voice and her face and the way she was talking. And I could relate. I understood what she, where she was coming from. You know, I think people who, who, who don't feel particularly wrathful have found themselves that way almost after the fact uh in, in recent years and i think matt has a little bit of an experience of that himself and lenora you know a lot of my favorite characters are back you know josh gad is back as the billionaire man baby herman judd uh mm -hmm. tell me what kind of person he is in real in real life i mean he plays all these wild characters is he that wild in real life or is he more reserved um josh gad in real life is incredibly warm and he he feels like you know the kind of the guy that brings everyone together we have game nights um as a cast and he uh, often hosts them um off off camera and he's my experience of josh is just one of utter joy really he's so funny and so kind and very generous with his stories he's a great storyteller um, he's really passionate uh, about the things that he cares about and very knowledgeable about things. So he's 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 way more grounded than anything I, most people I think would um, anticipate because his characters are so larger than life. But he's got a real kind of um, in the UK we call it like salt of the earth kind of salt. Like he 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 likes people and and that really you, you feel that when you're with him. So um, but he is. A funny guy. He's very funny. Weirdly, though, he has more money than the character he plays because he was in Way Frozen, more money. and the merchandising on that is just unbelievable. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's a quadrillionaire. Well, uh, quadrillionaire, yeah. How many zeros is that? Uh, <laughs> and also, Zach yeah. Q. Laurie is Captain Ryan Clark is back. You know, he's ready to sit and wait for death. You know, not the best plan for the ship and passengers. Hugh Laurie, man, I've never seen someone so versatile before, and he has a. It seems like he has a dry sense of humor but it really comes through for that character. Yeah, he's a lovely person. He 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 was really a great leader for that for the production and for the show. He has this interesting habit of saying something like 
sort of almost like a withering self-effacing kind of prelude then he'll say something really profound and funny and interesting and then he'll bookend it with another thing of like but what do I know I'm a piece of garbage you know so it's like it's these like it's a fairly predictable pattern with him that like it's like profound funny thing bookended by uh vicious caustic self-effacement um he's just uh, I've never really met anyone like him I kind of didn't think people like him existed I thought he, he, I've never met someone who so fully delivers on the archetype of like the the kind of slightly ashen but also incredibly handsome funny but also slightly kind of a touch of the tragic British guy I, I and and the way a certain the way women ask me about Hugh Laurie, I literally met a stranger once, like my one of my mom's friends, and she was like, what does Hugh Laurie smell like? And I was like, what does he smell like? She's like, because I imagine he smells like smoke in old books. And I was like, honestly, that's not wrong, but what the fuck are you talking about? Like, anyway, I think he's, uh, as you can tell, I think he's a real dreamboat. Oh, yeah, I can tell. Uh, and you know, Lenora, I, I heard that Armando Lenucci, he had the whole season two written and ready to go and then COVID hit. Is that true? Uh, you'd have to ask him. I'm not sure. Um, I I mean, we were at very much anticipating starting to film. So I hope he had it ready. But um, then the, the pandemic hit us. But um, I, 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 also the way that Armando works is like it's it's constantly growing and changing and even when we start filming an episode that episode is still emerging as we all work so um but you'd have to ask him how much of it was ready to go I don't know well you know Zach I'm a big Star Trek fan and I love what I love about Avenue 5 is the sets you know and I'm always curious about the actors when you walk on the set how much is special effects? How much is actual actual set on, that you, you interact with? And uh, how much uh, the imagination has to be put, drawn into play with the special effects? The production designer is a guy named Simon Bowles, who's a genius, who made this weird kind of cruise ship. Someone described it as like, um, like an airport terminal, like a first class lounge in Dubai or something, which I thought was an interesting opinion. Like United Arab Emirates has those like crazy planes too. That like that was another one that people were referencing. But um it's unusual, it's pretty, yeah. It's pretty fully realized, to be honest. Um there wasn't actual space outside, which made me furious. And I would walk off set a lot and be like, call me when you're ready, call me when there's actual. Um, stars and space outside the windows and they would say that's a physical impossibility it would create like a tear in the kind of um, cosmos and I'm like not my problem I'm an actor <laughs> and, and they were really weirdly stubborn about that but uh, aside from that it was all what you see is sort of what you get well that there it is that's that's well put so <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see the rest of the season. Congratulations on Avenue 5. And uh, I'm glad it's back because I need something bizarre and strange in my life. And uh, thank you both for talking to me today. I really enjoyed it. Let's talk again soon. Yeah. Right, thank thank you. you. Thank you, Jeff.